Thank you very much for joining me on this Saturday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. The possibility of a tropical storm developing for the week ahead. I want to show you the European model, how it's different from the American model. And some of us had some heavy rain last night and even this morning and still ongoing. It's this spot we're watching in the Caribbean for the potential of development. And we'll watch it together on this weather community. Thank you for sharing this information and subscribing to this uh, channel just to get the accurate information out there. Again, I do this channel for safety. No other reason, no sponsors or anything like that. Uh, so again, thank you for being part of this. Now, as we take it through it, here's some rain that we've had overnight. You see Nicaragua, uh, the Yucatan of Mexico. We had some, I'll get into the Eastern Caribbean in a moment, but this area here is eventually going to surge anywhere from Jamaica back through Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, kind of move into this direction. And I want to show you that both the models show that but a different intensity. Now, uh, I wanna get into the Eastern Caribbean because we had some rain overnight. That flare up of rain, we've been talking about this all last week, how the Southeastern Caribbean, we'd see more rain near Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, Grenada. We had some heavy rain last night, some thunderstorms around, close to St. Lucia as well keeping an eye on that throughout the day. It's still pretty active. Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, some scattered showers and storms. Now, it's all tied together with what's going on up to the north. This time of year, the development down in the Caribbean really does kind of hinge on what's going on up to the north. These fronts that come across the United States help steer these things, and they can add to the spin and add to the moisture in the Caribbean. So I want to show you that with both of the models. Now, to start, uh, you're going to hear a lot of uh, talk, of course, uh, about the possibility of development this week. I'll just take you step by step through it. European model not showing much development, but it could uh, kind of spin this thing up into a quick tropical storm late this week, or at least that's what I'm seeing. I'll show you that. The American model still saying, hey, this is going to be a hurricane. But if the American model was right from the beginning, it would already be a tropical storm, and that's not the case. It keeps pushing it off in time, and I'll show you that as well. I'll take you out in time with the American model. Now, we are in monitor mode, and that means I would like you to share the information just to get the correct information out there. So share this channel with your friends and family. And again, thank you for subscribing, but just most importantly, getting the uh, word out. We could see a tropical storm form. Basically, all of us in the Caribbean on monitor mode. It does not mean you need to get ready or get prepared for a storm because one, I'm not sure exactly what is going to develop, and two, I don't know where it would go at this point. It's very early. So point being is just raising the awareness right now about the possibility of a storm. Now, here's the European model, and I want to show you what I think is going to happen. I don't just look at the models. I look at everything going on in the environment. Here's Florida, Bahamas. Here's Bermuda. Right by Bermuda, an area of high pressure. That acts like a blocker. So everything in the Caribbean is pretty locked in. It's not going to uh, leave, and that's one of the reasons we have some of the rain in uh, Grenada and uh, Barbados, just kind of locked in right here. And then we have one front back here. And again, these fronts are critical for uh, not only steering these potential systems, but adding some moisture, adding some rain to it. Now, let me take you out in time, bring you through the weekend. This is by Sunday, working you into Sunday, into Monday, so early next week. Here's Monday, let me stop it here. So here is uh, Jamaica right here, here's Cuba, here's Haiti, Cayman Islands right here, here's Belize. Lots of rain here, watching over toward Honduras, Nicaragua, some increased rain. So this is the spot, we have that one front that just moved off, but another little front kind of trailing this, that'll move this way, that'll move toward Florida. That's important because this is the one I do believe is going to steer what's going on down in the Caribbean. Now, let me take you out in time further. This is Tuesday into Wednesday of the upcoming week. So we're getting pretty far out in time here. This is by Thursday of next week. So this is the setup. Here's that front right here. That's going to bring increased rain to Florida. Uh, so watching that. But this front, as it moves across, can kind of enhance the rain and then eventually grab this moisture and slide it back toward the northeast. So you see the European model still does not have development, does not have this as a tropical storm mid next week. And then this is what happens. By the time we get into the end of next week, even next weekend, that front slides off. So we're going to see that front kind of move off. Here's that front. This is the front that, again, grabs this moisture and moves it back here. Now, the European model is pretty different from what it's been showing the last couple days. It's showing two things. One, the area down here is going to work its way back over here. And I do believe while the European model now is not showing it as a tropical storm, which is good news, uh, it, it, there could be the possibility of a spin-up. I do believe 
a quick tropical storm could form uh, late in the upcoming week, uh, anywhere from Jamaica back through uh, Puerto Rico. Somewhere in there, there could be a brief storm. But the European model is kind of split. It's saying it's the model itself is saying, hey, this is not going to develop. It's going to bring some flooding rain near Puerto Rico, and it's actually going to leave some leftover moisture back in the southwestern Caribbean. So there could actually be kind of two areas to watch by the end of the week. Point being, these are computers. They're different. Um, uh, each computer model uh, kind of does different things. There's different input in it. There's different power to it. So they're going to show different things and they show different things over time. Now, the American model has been flat out wrong, long term, short term, very accurate. And let me show you that. Let me get you through the weekend and let me show you how this spins up into a tropical storm. At least the American model shows that. But there's some of the heavier rain, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, watching that up toward uh, Belize and Honduras, even Guatemala and El Salvador. Tomorrow, this is our Sunday, still showing that rain anywhere from St. Lucia, Barbados South through Trinidad and Tobago. We could have some flooding tomorrow in Trinidad and Tobago, so thank you for getting the word out about that. Now, let me take you out in time, and out in time, the American model becomes less reliable. Again, short term, very good. By the time we get into Tuesday, it's showing a big surge of moisture, which this could be accurate. The European model showing that as well. We're going to see a lot of rain here and the potential of a lot of rain near Jamaica. We'll see if it moves in in Jamaica. So uh, for us in Jamaica, just kind of keep an eye on this. Now, this is by Thursday. By Thursday, the American model tries to spin this up into at least a tropical depression or tropical storm Thursday into Friday and then kind of shoots it into this direction. But as I mentioned, if you uh, follow the American model, um, this was showing it as a tropical storm right now. Then it was showing it as a tropical storm on Monday. Then it's show now it's showing a tropical storm by the time we get into Thursday or Friday. So it keeps pushing out, out in time, which is telling me it's a little bit less accurate. But the water temperatures are warming up. That's why I'm leaning to the European model that we won't have quick development in the short term. But with these water temperatures, look at that near Jamaica. Here's Haiti over toward Jacamel, 30 degrees Celsius. So we're still in the mid 80s Fahrenheit. Uh, the water is very warm. So as the European model shows that moisture moving into this direction, uh, there could be a brief spin up of a tropical storm anywhere from Jamaica back through Puerto Rico late in the upcoming week. So there are some ingredients in place for that to develop. Now, if something does develop, and it's still a big if, that's why we're in monitor mode. We're not in action mode at this point. Vince is the next name on the list. Whitney after that, and actually this year, we've been rolling through the list. It has been super active. If we actually got through Whitney, there'd be a secondary list we'd go to. It's not the Greek alphabet. Uh, through the end of the year, Adria and Braylon would be the next names on the secondary list, but uh, no signs of uh, Whitney, and we'll still wait and see if uh, Vince tries to form. Now, in the short term, Barbados, so that's already panned out that 70% chance of rain. We have the rain around overnight. That may have uh, woken you up. Very active, as I mentioned, Trinidad and Tobago. Areas of flooding, Grenada, that's 70% as well, has already uh, panned out. Some of us have had some of the heavier rain. And the same thing, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We had some thunderstorms last night and early this morning. Uh, tomorrow and Monday stays active. Another 60% chance, about a 50% chance against St. Lucia, uh, right on the edge of some of that. Jamaica isolated, but all eyes in Jamaica were in monitor mode, keeping an eye on what could try to develop nearby later in the upcoming week. Puerto Rico, we're also in monitor mode, just keeping an eye out, spreading the word about this in the short term. Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands, passing shower or storm will be possible. 40% chance in Martinique, a 30% chance in Dominica. Again, most of the rain is uh, down to the south, but we could still see a little bit. Same thing in Guadeloupe. We're looking at about a 30% chance, a 60% chance in Belize, an enhanced chance of rain over towards Central America in the next couple days. Cayman Islands, we are in monitor mode, keeping an eye on what may try to develop in the Caribbean. Bahamas, 20% chance, 20% chance today in Aruba, 30% chance tomorrow. Isolated shower possible in Curacao over the next few days. Haiti, keeping a very close eye on what will try to uh, develop. 40% rain chance through the weekend. Dominican Republic a little bit higher. We're up to about a 50 to 60% chance of rain and storms. A 20% chance Antigua and Barbuda. A 30% chance for today St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Isolated shower possible. 20% chance Anguilla and over toward St. Bart's. 30% chance St. Martin, Saba Stacia. Isolated shower possible this weekend. A 50% chance for today in Bermuda. Then it goes down some. The Yucatan, again, we've already had that rain around here. Oh, I've been watching Cosmetics. 
Carmel, uh, Cancun overnight. There's been some areas of rain. Turks and Caicos, 40% chance. 20% chance, very consistent back through Cuba. Could see an isolated shower. 60% chance today in Costa Rica, but the rain chance gets higher. I've been mentioning Nicaragua, Costa Rica, even Panama. Uh, Northern Venezuela, 30% chance. 30% chance today in Guyana. And as we work our way into Suriname, an isolated shower this weekend. So all eyes on what's going on in the Caribbean, monitoring that disturbance that could develop by the middle of the week. The front does look like it'll steer it back toward the northeast, and it could uh, briefly spin up into tropical storm vents. Either way, it is going to be very active this week because even if it's not a named system, we're going to have those areas of extreme flooding around depending on where this surge of moisture goes. 19 days left in the hurricane season and it is not quiet at all so I'll do my best to keep you posted. Thank you for your trust. Be safe and have a good rest of your day.